Hello everyone, this is Lance Brooks here. I have to talk to you about something a little serious here. And so, in fact, it's a lot serious. So this may take a moment. Usually I'm quick in and out, but this may take a moment, but it's well worth your time. It's this thing about tithe and offering and a situation that disturbed me. Now, you know, we're dealing with something that's totally different. It's COVID-19 coronavirus that hit us in this country, in America. It hit us and everybody was like, wow, I didn't see that coming, right? And things got tight for a lot of us financially. We have lost some loved ones. And a lot of people have lost their jobs and a lot going on. So let's pray for everybody. Our friends, our loved ones, the stranger, everybody. It's time to us to stick together. In fact, it's past time. But let me tell you about a story dealing with tithe and offering that this older elderly couple and this elderly lady with her husband being disabled. Yeah, one of the singers in our community was stuck between choosing to pay tithe and offering and getting the essentials she need back in March for her family. You know, the essentials, her medicine, his medicine, making sure that they have the bills paid, food, so they can be in quarantine comfortably and not be in the cold, okay? but they're still getting this email or the letter in the mail, the knock at the door, the phone call, saying, pay your tithe. And if you were like me, I was taught that you pay your tithes before anything else. <laughs> Until I found out the truth about tithe and offering, that's the thing that I want to share with you. Because this really disturbs me. This lady was torn between having food, having lights on, bills paid, and paying her tithe. What if I told you that we was taught wrong about tithe and offering? Let's be honest, you always felt it. It's like something not right here. <laughs> but what if we was taught wrong? And what if I can prove it using scripture without a shadow of a doubt? Most of the time that this lecture is taught, people are angry. So don't get angry. Or people are just shocked, like, wow. It's like that punch drunk. They're like, whoa, I didn't see this. It's one of the things to ease the burden is just to tell the truth. And usually I mind my business and I'm in and out on the internet, but this disturbs me. And I couldn't just let it go because a lot of people in her position, and like my mother-in-law, she's a minister, and she was like, everybody needs to know this. So what I'm doing is setting up a master class for this upcoming Saturday that you can join it's a small investment, but to know the truth and to save you a lot of money. And you just bring your pen, your pad, and your Bible. And if you don't have a Bible, don't worry about it. We'll have that there for you. And then you'll get a recording after that. So you can listen to it again and really get it. The truth about tithing. That you'll know without a shadow of a doubt what it is, what it's not, and how to properly tithe the right way. And how not to tie the wrong way. And for the majority of us, if you grew up in a church like me, you got it wrong. I got it wrong. Until I found out the truth. My wife got it wrong. So she found out the truth. And boy, she was mad. In fact, she said she can go back and kick herself if she could. But if you don't know, you don't know. But when you find out the truth, it's hard to go back. So let's find out the truth about tithing. So join me in this master class. It's a private setting, 
by way virtually. You don't have to, you know, leave your home by way virtually that you can watch and participate. We have some Q&A sessions after so to get it clear on what tithe is and what tithe is not. Now you can say, hey, I will always get my blessing and I'll show you why. It's a law that makes that happen and I'll show you. But let's find out the truth about things. So when you have to choose between, well, it's no choice anymore. You know the truth. So you can rest easy at night and not be like this elderly woman tossing to and fro, feeling as if she had let God down and she is not walking in the faith and not doing what God has required of her. In fact, she thought she was robbing God, as it says in Malachi. Oh, yeah, it's a way you can rob God, but not with money. <laughs> and I'm going to prove it to you. So join me in this master class.